Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Arga, floated yet another false conspiracy theory on Twitter Tuesday, this time claiming the U.S. Capitol rioters were not Trump supporters, days after taking to the House floor to assert the false and bigoted words she spread were, words of the past. More than 175 people involved in the Capitol riot have been arrested, and the overwhelming majority have expressed support for Trump, while some have gone as far to claim they decided to join the mob under a directive from Trump himself. The mob that stormed the Capitol were of a variety of stripes, including white nationalists, QAnon conspiracy theorists, and far-right military groups, but united by the false assertion Trump won the election, and his victory needed saving. Green's logic also falls apart when considering the challenge to President Joe Biden's win in Congress was doomed to fail because Republicans did not have the votes to toss out enough electoral college votes. Since joining Congress, Green has faced a host of criticism from Republicans and Democrats over past violent remarks and conspiracy theories she spread. Along with embracing QAnon, Georgia Congresswoman once claimed the Parkland and Sandy Hook school shootings were, false flag, events, and the California wildfires set by Jewish space lasers. Green has also shown support for executing top Democrats and suggested Muslims do not belong in government. I never once said during my entire campaign, QAnon, Green said on the House floor last week, hoping to separate her embrace of conspiracy theories from her political career. I never once said any of the things that I am being accused of today during my campaign. I never said any of these things since I have been elected for Congress. Marjorie Taylor Greene ends press conference when asked about endorsing Pelosi's execution, Forbes House ousts Marjorie Taylor Greene from committees with 11 GOP votes, Forbes Trump said to do so. Accounts of rioters who say the president spurred them to rush the Capitol could be pivotal testimony, Washington Post.